All right, this is a worst case scenario test here for YouTube. We're giving this thing another shot, putting it through its paces. So maybe I'll add some kind of audio setup in addition to this. I've never really gotten into doing that for YouTube just because that's work. And although I enjoy doing it, I see a YouTube video as work. I don't really like doing work on my days off. The whole point of a day off is to not work and to put as little effort into things as possible. So for YouTube, I prefer to just put a camera on a tripod, press record, and be done with it. I like YouTube videos, but I don't really want to spend a lot of time and effort on them. I want all the effort in the video to be put into what I'm talking about, not setting things up and doing editing and all that. So we'll see. Do I need to figure out a better audio solution for this? Or is the Hero 12 good enough by itself? And this is the most poorly lit room in the house. And we'll see how it handles. I tweaked the settings a little bit. I created an indoor preset that I figured was kind of the best balance, uh, quality and quantity. I found a really good setup I really liked for YouTube. I had it all ready to go. Most of it was processed in real time. And then I just had to sync it in the computer and add a noise gate. And then the computer repair place deleted everything and broke compatibility. My, my laptop is just, it's just a mess. It can read this one, but it can't read that one. I can plug this device in and it works, but if I plug that one in, it doesn't know what any of the files are because the computer repair place deleted all the codecs and file extensions and the, the programs that were required in order to read that file. It, it's a mess. And every time I use it, I seem to find something else that's wrong. So the, what is that place called? You break, I fix, whatever? Wouldn't recommend them. Goodness, that, that's what $8 an hour gets you. But now I'm trying to find another solution to the problem. Is the GoPro good enough by itself? It's definitely not the sharpest camera I own. It's the fuzziest one of the bunch. And it's certainly not the most reliable. It's actually the least reliable camera I've ever owned by far. And it's also the slowest camera I've ever owned. Everything just takes some time. So we'll see. And is, is the voice command going to work this time? I was, I was getting really confused. Now, they did the update, and then the one thing that always worked, the one and only thing that always worked on this silly camera was the voice command. And then they screwed that up. But then when it was working, I'd do a video just like this, talking the way I am now, and all of a sudden it would stop all by itself. And I'm, I'm not going to say the other word, because it's probably going to be stupid all over again. This thing's got an IQ of five, but we'll see. Am I actually going to be able to record the entire video this time or do I need to redo it? We'll see. I, I might need to turn that off now because the one feature that used to always work doesn't work anymore. It's kind of like hit or miss. And I'll say something that doesn't sound remotely close to the command, and it'll just screw things up all by itself. So maybe, maybe this will become the new setup for YouTube, just because of convenience, if it works. I'll probably turn off that feature. I won't even say it because the camera's going to do something stupid. I just know it. It's really annoying. It really is. There's a lot of things I, I really like about this thing, but there's just so many problems that it's hard to say anything good about it. I've never, I've never used such a broken product in my life. Never. Now, to be fair, most of the time I don't buy consumer stuff. I buy professional grade stuff or I buy prosumer stuff. It's just better. But 
when I do buy consumer grade stuff, it usually works. I, I'm careful with what I buy because consumer stuff is kind of all over the place. You need to know what's good and what isn't. A lot of it's crap. Um, but this thing, goodness, I've never seen something so broken before in my life, right out of the box. So we'll see. Does this sound good enough for YouTube? Does it look good enough for YouTube? That's what I'm curious about. I like the convenience. If I turn off that command feature, which I should have done in the first place because I should have known better not to trust it. I mean, it's made by GoPro. Why on earth would it work? But I'll turn that off in the future when I do stuff like this. But is, does this look and sound good enough? If it doesn't sound good enough, if it sounds really bad, and it has to sound really bad, then I'll find a solution to that problem, if needed. And I'll make sure it's good enough for YouTube, but still quick and easy for me. It needs to be a balance. I'm not doing professional grade work for YouTube, because that's work, and I don't believe in work with, with YouTube videos on my day off from work. So we'll see. Let me know what you think. I'll look at this one too. Oh, that reminds me. In order to look at this thing, I need to... Oh, what's that thing? I need to put it in that software to... convert the codex or something, and then from there I can actually do something with it, and then I need to upload it. Goodness, this, this thing is nothing but headaches, isn't it? Forgot about that. Well, we'll see if we can fix that. That's all for this one. Thank you, GoPro, for actually working this time around for once. That's a start. And I'll see you next time. GoPro, stop recording.